Mm. That's right. This is the big time for New Year's resolutions. This is. Now is the time to get ready. That's right. Um, some people have brains that seem disposed to change. That's right. I happen to be one of those people. That means I like new things. I like new people. I adapt quickly to new change. So you're a lucky I, one. Sometimes there's a downside to that because we have trouble sticking to things. Oh, so okay? you always wanting to change the <clears throat> channel as opposed to just That's right. keeping it on CBS. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, we, you have some tips for people who are thinking about making a resolutions and ways to help enable them to really stick to them. And one of the things you say that deep down inside, you, people need to have a, a real desire to change. That's right. It can't come from outside. It can't be because your family says it's time for you to lose, to quit smoking. It's time for you to stop drinking. It's got to come from inside you, that state of readiness, as I right. call it. All right. And what about <clears throat> the ability to change? Well, you have to have the skill set. You can't suddenly say, this is the year that I'm going to start a blog every single day if you've never used a computer. Okay? So you've got to figure out what the skill set is mm -hmm. that you need and acquire those skills in order to achieve it. Okay. And then what about an, a supportive environment? Very important. Of course, people, um, addiction specialists, you had one on earlier right. in the show. Smoking, will tell yeah. you that it's very, very important that you change your, your environment if those people are enabling and supporting your bad habits. Right. And obviously, that doesn't mean necessarily leaving your entire family, but it means acquiring new friends who will support your new... Right. I, I happen to know that you're interested in getting back into yoga this year, right? right? So you've got to hang out with yoga friends. You're going to notice if you're not in class. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I will come back to that. Okay. Uh, confidence to change. That is actually, the studies have shown, that's the number one component in whether your New Year's resolution will fall. So no matter if you've got the skills, if you've got the desire, if you've got the plan, right. if you don't deep down believe that you can achieve it, right. you're not going to be able to stick. How do you get that, though? I mean, it's not like somebody can wave a magic wand and go, ding, right. you now have confidence Well, besides good therapy, right. uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> confidence is something that just knowing inside yourself and practicing those positive feedback with yourself. I know I can do the little train that right. could. I yeah. know I can, I know I can, I know I can. Actually, re rewire. I suppose the brain. if you mix all of these together, if uh -huh. you combine all of these factors, they might 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 work. The other thing you say though is look for instant feedback. Like, how? well, what's interesting is that the past studies showed that small incremental changes tend to be create more permanent behavioral change. Mm -hmm. However, some new studies are showing that big, dramatic, bold changes cause an, an uh, a feedback loop in the environment. So if you suddenly lost lots of weight, right. people are going, "You look good," and uh, you you go shopping for better clothes. Okay. Well, Okay. Or let's say you want to save this year, you yeah. put a big chunk in in Jen, yeah. really watch that grow. The last but not, the, the one thing you say also, though, but good habits take time. They, if you make this resolution, your life is not going to change by, say... February 1st? Uh, Washington's <laughs> birthday or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. It's important to remember that part of the change process is that setbacks will happen. Everyone will fall off the wagon. And that's when people quit. And that's the time to stick to it more than ever. There will be a series of setbacks. Right. But know that you can change. Get back on the wagon. That's right. Now, have you ever had resolutions? I have had <clears throat> resolutions. And this year, my resolution is actually to be a stronger mom with my kids and cleaning their rooms. <laughs> And, oh, the other thing, Harry, is you need to put in a reward system. Right. So my reward is going to be that I'm going to get all the technology that I'm taking away from them. I'm going to get some iPods this year if their rooms right. are not clean. Okay. So <laughs> now, how would... The, the, People across the country resolutions exactly like that. Right. How will you stick to yours in a way that six months from now your kids' rooms will be clean and you'll be less about it? I'm going to set up very important milestones. I'm going to set up reward systems for myself, mm -hmm. just like you're going to do with yoga. What right. would you like to treat yourself to? A new yoga mat after a couple weeks? I need a little bit better than a yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's just an idea about feeling better and taking better, better care of yourself. So. That's right. All right. All right. Thanks so much. You're Good welcome. tips, I hope, uh, from Dr. Wendy Walsh.